Hello, Sawyer. Who is getting all this fur on the couch? You are making a mess. We got some cotton from some of the toys that somebody took apart. Got this little guy up here. And were you scared of him? <laughs> So kind of looks like this is going to be a Sunday of cleaning this house from this guy. And we can't even talk about the dirty paw prints and nose marks on the back window. I cannot play with you right now. You have to play by yourself. Got Shiloh tucked away over here. Yeah, tired. Yeah, got Tons of nose marks on the window. The back door is just such a mess. You can't even really see it at this angle, but trust me. As you can see, we have just a couple little patches of snow left. And so the back door is impossible to keep clean. Oh, okay. See, you can really see it from the outside. Big mess. And I can tell you, look at the height of it. It's all Sawyer. It's all you. dirty little paw marks all over the floor, but this is what it is when you have a pet. And oh my gosh, especially in a snowy climate, it's just, yep, that's what it is. But you know, today is actually really nice. I think it's gonna get up into the 50s. So this is just feeling like, like summer practically for us. And of course, Sawyer is just loving being outside because he is just an outdoor kind of guy. <laughs> I swear the first nice day and everybody's like cutting trees down. Oh, that's what you're doing. Jake is over there. As you can see, we have to finish this back deck. And oh, there's my hat. All right, guys, let's go in. We really do have just so much stuff around. We got some moldings here. We got some giveaway clothes over here. And of course, Sawyer has to just like harass poor Jake. But don't worry, Jake can totally hold his own. Ah, oh, Jake. So right now they're just all following me around the house with rapt attention because they saw me get the food bowls and they know that it is time for them to eat their breakfast. So here we go, I'm gonna make that. Okay, so here's what we're doing today. We have Sawyer's dry food. We have this canned food, Whole Earth Farms. This is the Holistic Health Extension Buffalo and Whitefish. And then we have some Duck Duck Goose patties to spread on top. And then I usually always like to see what kind of like little leftovers I have some steak or chicken from the night before if it's not you know spicy or if it is i rinse it off but today we have like just a little bit of eggs and a random piece of asparagus from breakfast so i will throw that in because i don't first of all i never waste any food that's like just not something i do in my house and secondly because it gives them a little bit of real food which is always strange to me how, you know, even veterinarians will say, don't feed your dog people food. And I understand what they're saying if they, if by that they mean like mac and cheese and hot dogs. But, but real food is healthy for your dog. It's what your dog would be eating in the wild. I mean, let's face it, kib processed kibble is not, is not really the best. Also, I always feel like, especially if you just feed your dog dry food, what a horrible life. <laughs> they came to your house and they're in your care. And I feel like it would be somebody feeding you or I like dry Cheerios or some kind of processed people chow every single day. I know. I'm sorry. I'm going to get to it. Okay. So let's go. Oh, and there's other things that I feed them all too. So one day we're going to do a what I eat in a day. How about that? Okay. Cause they all do eat a little bit differently depending on their age and their, you know, health and things like that. So we're going to do that for you guys soon.
As you guys may know, Shiloh is older and she is 14. So we just give Shiloh wet food because her little teeth or lack thereof in some places just don't agree with, obviously. Oh, sorry. Kibble also, um, yeah, I don't give the little dogs, especially chihuahuas, are notorious for having bad teeth and dental problems. So I actually don't give them kibble at all. This is over, like, this is after like 20 years of owning chihuahuas. Um, I've come to the conclusion that kibble and them just don't mix. So these are the Duck Duck Goose patties and I just crumble usually not even a whole one, like two thirds or, you know, even half of one. Quincy gets most of this. Oh, and as you guys can see, they're all waiting very nicely and patiently, which your dogs always should. You don't want some kind of rambunctious scene of them jumping on you, demanding food from you. They shouldn't be demanding food from you because you are in charge and you are the source of food and they have to all be calm like this. And they just don't come out of the box like this. You have to, it's something that you generally have to teach. Most dogs are kind of crazy around food um, when they're puppies. So that's something that you need to teach. Okay, so we'll just give some to Sawyer and some to Quincy. Oh, actually we're giving the asparagus to Quincy. He's the only one of the dogs who will eat vegetables. Like these guys will spit it out. You and you, they'll spit it out. Okay, so we feed Sawyer first. Shiloh, I've really been trying to bulk up her meals a little more because she's so skinny, this girl. Sorry. And then Quincy. And also, of course, there's no fighting. There's no separating them into separate rooms. They all have to learn how to get along and eat together. Um, however, if I do walk out of the room, we could have a little bit of this one over here checking out to see what the others have. But we avoid that by me staying in the kitchen or somewhat near the kitchen while they're eating. And then we have a nice peaceful setup. And I do have, like, I think it's his um, first first full day home video where I show you that initially, of course, he didn't understand that. And he was just this puppy that was like, Ooh, food and didn't understand also the hierarchy that we've got going on here. Um, and he would run to their food bowls and Quincy would let him Quincy's very submissive. So he would just like walk away and let him eat it. Not, not Shiloh. She would definitely like really put him in his place. But yeah, I'll see if I can, I'll put in a little snippet of how I did that. And I really just, um, just barricaded him with my legs so that he would understand, like, you can't move from this place until you eat your food and you can't go and get everybody else's food. And as usual, Quincy is the first one done because he just about inhales his food every time. That's breakfast. That is breakfast, guys. Meanwhile, I said I was going to take out uh, steak and turkey and put it in there, and I never even did. So that'll be for dinner. So we'll save that for their dinner. Okay, everybody outside. Come on, Quincy. Go ahead, Shiloh. Okay, I'll just leave them outside there to do their business, run around a little bit, and fresh air and some sunshine and you want to know who's really enjoying this sunny sunday in the windowsill oh, please that would be jake Hi, boy. don't be jealous jakey i don't know we may have to extend the windowsill soon for you So I'm going in the shower and of course he followed me upstairs, but I think he wants to go in my daughter's room. Hi Quincy. So I think I'm going to change into some yard working clothes, go outside and clean up the poop. 
because we are expecting snow tomorrow and so that is never a good idea to leave it sit with all the snow on it. Right? Seriously, you're probably gonna use up this whole entire roll. I'm not even kidding. I'm, I hope it's gonna be enough. <laughs> yeah. ball over here and I'm gonna get it and we're definitely not playing on this side of the yard where it is still so extremely muddy and wet because uh come on not yet buddy okay you want to sit down good boy ready go get it come on Good boy. Are you giving up? Who's going to get that first? <laughs> Me. No, go over there. Ready? Come on. Yeah. Good boy. Come on. I'm going to need this. Okay, so now that he got his exercise, I'm going to do a little bit of yard work because we had three trees taken down and, you know, the stumps ground up. So this is what's left. I'm going to try to little by little bag this up and put it out with the yard waste. I guess you prefer the water from the table to the water in your bowl. Is that it? Okay, so now I'm just filling in all of these holes that the guys left when they brought all the heavy machinery to dig down the trees. So. Buddy, I think I'm done for the day out here. You know, you're getting really dirty, right? With these paws. Let me see this paw. Let me see this. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Okay, made a good dent. So now what should we do, huh? Oh, look at this. So dirty. Oh my gosh, she's gotta come sit on my lap. You're getting me all dirty. You having fun behind the trees? This was such a good day to be outside. I feel so grateful for the warm weather. It is so, such a nice break and makes winter much more easily endured when you have those little break days and then it goes back to being chilly and snowy. And you know what? Even the moon is out. Really nice. So I think we're just gonna sit out here. I'm gonna make some tea or coffee. Sit out here on the deck a little bit more with this guy and then we'll take him in. Boop. Choo. Hey. <laughs> okay, let's go in. So I've been keeping this washcloth by the back door for his muddy paws to wash off with. So I'm going to leave him out until I can put some water on this. No, I don't think so. Back. 
pretty tired from being outside doing so much running around I never did really get anything else done besides some yard work today but I decided now to let him come and rest in my bed got my laptop here charging I'm gonna start working on this video for everybody okay everybody wants to see you okay you know what first I'll brush you out a little because you know what? Your fur is kind of a mess from all of this weather. Yep. All this muddy and rainy weather has left your fur looking pretty shabby. Also, his nails are in dire need of a clip. But we're going to do that another day. Oh my goodness, yeah. Okay. We're going to do an updated nail tutorial too. We did one when he was really little, but we're going to do another one really soon. Well, guys, I think we're going to end this right here. Sawyer is done for the day. We're going to, well, actually, we still got to feed him dinner later and stuff, but that'll be it for today's video. Thank you so much for spending the day with us. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, please subscribe. We have lots more to share with you. If you're one of our regulars, again, thank you so much for being here. So we hope your day was fun and was restful, and we will see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.